Have a seat. What this is is a. I don't want to bring this up. Dedektifler Stephanie Lazarus'la bir mülakat yaptılar, onunla görüştüler. Stephanie Lazarus aslında polis teşkilatında yer almış ancak katil zanlısı olarak daha sonradan ortaya çıkan bir suçludur. Fakat onun suçlu olduğu bilinmemiştir, uzunca süre polis teşkilatında kalmaya devam etmiştir. Sevgilisinin yeni karısını öldürdüğü bilinmektedir ve o şekilde katil olarak polis teşkilatında devam etmiştir. Bu videoda dedektifler uydurma bir senaryo hazırlayarak bunu Stefani'ye danışıyorlar. In your squad. I don't want to talk about this in the squad room because I, I don't know who people are listening. That's true. That's And if we go to my side, everybody's yeah. always wondering what everybody oh, else yeah, is sure, doing. No problem. Okay. But uh, like we're talking about being business stuff. We've been assigned a case that we've been looking at. Okay. okay. It's a new case. And as we're doing the case, there's some notes uh, to see. That Dedektifler burada olabildiğince konuşmayı rahat tutmaya çalışıyorlar ve dikkatli bir şekilde bir anlaşmazlık olduğu anı bekliyorlar. Stefani'den gelecek tepkiyi ve agresifliği görmeye çalışıyorlar. Çünkü kendisi bir sosyopat. Oh, okay. Do you know John Rutten? John Rutten? Rutten. Rutten. Can Rutten aslında Stefani'nin eski sevgilisi ancak Stefani eski sevgilisinin yeni sevgilisini yani bir kadını öldürdü ve bu isim aniden karşısına çıkıyor. Aradan 20 yıl geçmiş ve bu soru yeniden soruluyor. Düşünsenize hiçbir şeyden haberiniz yok bir anda size cinayet işlediğiniz olayda ismi geçen biri aniden soruluyor. Aradan 20 yıl geçmiş. Dedektifler John Rotten'ın nasıl söylendiğini biliyor ama Stefani'ye John Rotten'ı sorduklarında nasıl söylenildiğini bilmiyorlarmış gibi yapıyorlar. Böylece Stefani'nin düzeltmesini istiyorlar. Burada bilerek yanlış telaffuz etme aslında bir strateji. Zanlının nasıl hareket edeceğini merak ediyorlar. Oh, okay. Do you know John Rotten? John Rotten? Rotten. Right. Oh yeah, I went to school with him. How long did you know him? Gosh, I went to school in, um, let's see, went to UCLA in 1978 I started and, um, you know, met him at school at the dorms. Mm-hmm. Um, were you guys friends, close friends? Yeah, we were very close friends. I yeah. Mean, I mean, what's this all about? Well, it's regarding, it's a case we're working on and it involves John and in there, some of the statements we, we reviewed, Uh, you know, there's notes and stuff that he, that he knew you and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, we were good friends. Um, lived in the dorms for, I lived in the dorms for two years. Um, you guys lived in the same dorm? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, Dijkstra. Okay. Were you guys just friends or anything else or? Yeah, I mean, we dated. Uh, uh-huh. You know, um, I mean, is what's this all about? Well, it's relating to uh, his wife. Okay. Okay. Did you know her? Not really. I mean, I knew that he got married years ago. Uh huh. Did you ever meet her? God, I don't know. Um. Do you know who she was or anything? Maalesef buraya kadar Stefani'nin yüzü kamerada çıkmıyor tabi. Stefani'nin de bilgisi yok bu kameradan gizli koyulmuş. Ancak burada muhtemelen verdiği tepkilerden bir tanesi ya karşı tarafa saldırmak ya da oradan kaçmak olmalıydı. Çünkü adam direkt olarak diyor ki John'un karısıyla alakalı bir olay var. Stefani ise onu öldüren kişi. Ancak Stephanie burada tabii ki kaçmıyor ve savaşmaya başlıyor. Well, I let me think. God, it's been a long time ago. Um, um, I, I may have met her. Um, jeez. Dikkat edin burada bazı kelimeler var. Güçlü duyguları ya da sürpriz etkisi yaratacak, onu şaşırtacak derecede etkisi olan soruları cevaplarken bu kelimeleri kullanmaya çalışıyor. Dikkat edin konuşmalarının çoğu yerinde bunlar var. Sürpriz etkisi yaratmaya çalışıyor karşı tarafta. Yani ben bunu bilmiyordum. Şimdi bunu nereden sordunuz? Ne alakası var ya? Gerçekten çok şaşırıyorum. Der gibi aslında bu kelimeleri kullanıyor. You know. Yeah. Uh, well let me see. Let me ask you. You said you, you dated John. How long did you guys date? I mean are you guys is this something Biliyoruz ki Stefani 25 yıldır bir polis. O yüzden sorgulandığını hissetmeye başlıyor. Defalarca görülen bir şeydir. Gerçekten suçlu olan insanlar onlara atfedilen suçlara karşı naif davranırlar. 
Halbuki suçlu olmayanlar güçlü bir şekilde reddederler ya da saklamaya çalışırlar. Ama suçlular ne saklamaya çalışıyor ne de sert bir şekilde karşı çıkıyor. Tam tersine yardımcı olmaya çalışıyormuş gibi naif davranıyorlar. Ve ayrıca gerçek suçlular suçunu gösterecek herhangi bir konuşmadan da yavaş yavaş kaçınmaya çalışırlar. O yüzden ya ne alakası var bu soruları niye bana soruyorsunuz tarzı şeyler söylerler. I mean, you said that I was going to interview somebody about art and how well, you guys are. So we we did this just as as a means to try and speak to you in okay, just a confidential I mean, place where you, you know, where where your business isn't out there for other people and in well, you know, I mean, your division yeah, and all I mean, that. Yeah, you know, god, that's been a million years ago. I mean, you know, um What year is it now? 2009. I mean, I graduated in 82. 82, yeah. Um you know, we dated um I dated other guys. I'm sure he dated other girls. Um mm-hmm. Well, let me ask you. <gülüyor> roughly how long would you, <coughs> would you say you guys dated? Dikkat edin buradan sonra da açıklama gerektirmeyen her şeyi açıklamaya çalışıyor. Üstelik sorulmamasına rağmen. Aslında bu yaklaşımı Psikolojide de çokça bahsedilen terör management teori denilen bir teoriyle alakalı. Zanlı yine aslında konudan sapıyor ve konunun paralelinde başka bir konu açıyor. Oh jeez. Um, I couldn't even say. I mean I started school there in 70- Örneğin dedektif dedi ki John'la ne kadar çıktınız? Ne kadar süre? Yani normal bir insan 1 yıl, 2 yıl, 5 yıl, 10 yıl der. Ama dikkat edin burada 1978'de şunu yaptım, 82'de mezun oldum diye detaylara girmeye başlıyor. I started UCLA in 1978. I graduated in 82. Um, I don't Dedektifler de kendini rahatlatması için ona izin veriyorlar. Hani biz sana sadece bunu sorduk, bunun cevabını ver tarzı yaklaşmıyorlar. Onun açıklamalarını daha detaylandırmasını ve aslında rahatlamasını sağlıyorlar. Even remember what year he graduated if it was a year or two before me. Okay. Um, I think he was a little bit older than I was. Okay. I mean, you know, I can't remember if he was born, let's say I'm born in 60, 1960. I don't know if he was born in 58 or 59. I mean, I, you know, Um, I mean, I knew his parents, I knew his sister, his brother went to Northridge. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you know, his sister spent the night at my house before. Obviously, I spent the night at his house before. He probably spent the night at my house before. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, because from what you're telling me, you, you guys dated while you were in college together, right? Yeah, and probably after college. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I can't... Jeez, I'm um, trying to think when I met my husband. I met my husband in when did I meet Scott um let's see so I, you um, haven't talked to him for a long time oh I I think I haven't talked to him in a long time um I couldn't even tell you when the last time I talked to him um I met Scott I'm thinking in 92 maybe um April of 92 it was Scott being your husband yeah I'm trying to think I was teaching dare let's see what year is this, this is, we'll be married I got married in 1996 I think I met Scott in 92. Prior to that, I couldn't tell you how long I had talked, you know, talked to John b- prior to that. But mm-hmm. since um, you since you met your husband Scott, you hadn't talked to him. I mean, he may have called me uh once or twice uh-huh. before we got married. Right. Um, you know, geez, I I lived in, I moved to see me in 1994 because I lost my house in the earthquake. Uh quite honestly, I probably keep in contact with a few people from the dorms we we all we all lived on the 10th floor um i mean what you know what's what's i mean what's this all about i mean well let me ask you what ended the relationship between you and john you know i don't it was kind of a weird relationship i mean we we we dated um i can't say that he was my boyfriend i don't know that he would consider me his girlfriend Um, we just we dated. We did things. I played sports in college. He played basketball. His brother played basketball. And you were it's, saying that um, the, it's d- 2009 now. Had you ever met his wife? I may have. Do you know? Do you remember her name or anything? Or um, um, or what she did for a living, or where she worked, or anything uh-huh. about her? İşte tam burada Stefani'ye 3 tane öldürdüğü kadınla alakalı soru soruluyor arka arkaya. Normal bir insan bunlara hızlıca cevap verir ama suratının aldığı ifadeyi görün. 
aslında cevabını bildiği soruları sorduklarını biliyor ancak daha doğru ve yerinde cevaplar vermeye çalışıyor. Burada zihnini bir tür pause durumuna yani durdurma durumuna geçiyor. Burada aslında düşünüyormuş gibi yapıyor ama aslında gerçekten düşünüyor. Ne söyleyeceğini düşünüyor bir yandan. Yani iki şeyi aynı anda yapıyor ve karşı tarafı aldatmaya çalışıyor. Genellikle suçlu olmayan insanlar akıcı bir şekilde konuşurlar. Çünkü zihinlerinde ne varsa her şeyi açık bir şekilde söyleyip kurtulmak isterler. Suçlu olmadıklarını bilirler çünkü. Ancak suçlu insanlar çok fazla duraksarlar. Hatırlamaya çalışarak aslında doğru cümle kurmayı hedeflerler. Dedektifler böyle kişileri bu ipuçlarından yakalarlar. Well, I think she I th- I'm going to say that I think she was a nurse. Um Uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's been so long ago. You know, I don't understand why you're talking about some guy I dated a million years ago. Well, do you know what happened to his wife? Yeah, I know she got killed. What did um, you What did you hear about that? I, I saw a poster at work. Um, I'm sure I spoke to him about it. Um, And how did How did you first learn about that? Jeez, <laughs> someone could have called me. I could have heard it at work. Um, I think at one point there may have been a flyer or something. I know a good friend of his. Um, Were you on the job back then when that happened? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm sure I was on the job. That's why I would have heard about it with the flyer. Um, John, you know, was it everything okay between you guys? I mean, there was never anything uncomfortable or anything between you and her. Um. Normalde sekiz tane tanığın söylediğine göre Stephanie, John'un karısıyla defalarca görüştü. Hatta iki tanesinde agresif davranarak güvenlik tarafından dışarıya bile çıkarıldı. Ancak şu an hatırlamadığını söylüyor. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's got it's been so many years. I mean, uncomfortable. I mean, I can't even remember if we had a conversation. I mean, we may have. I may have I may have seen her at his apart. You know, jeez. How many years ago is that? I don't even know what year she, you know, got killed. Where was his apartment? On Roscoe. Okay. Yeah, Roscoe and um, um, east or west of DeSoto, uh, either east or west of DeSoto. Do you know where he moved after? <laughs> did, did he move after he got married, or do you know? Or oh, <sighs> I'm sure he did. Did you know um, where he was living, or somewhere in the valley? Did you ever visit him and his wife? No. No, never no. went out to, you know, get together, dinners, anything I don't know, of that nature. No, no. You're right. I mean, if you guys are claiming that I'm a suspect, then, you know, I, I got a problem with, you know, with that. Okay. Okay. So, now you're accusing me of this? Is that what you're is that what you're saying? We're trying to figure out what happened, Stephanie. I you mean, know you're not you're not under arrest. You can walk out. You can leave you whenever you like. Well, But you know, I, I, I'm trying <coughs> to give you some background of you know how I knew him, and now you're telling me somebody's saying that we had this big old fight, and I don't even know what you're talking about. I mean, how would you guys like it if the tables were turned on you? I understand. No. Um, no, that's what we're telling you. I mean, you're free to go whenever yeah. you want. If if this makes you uncomfortable and you want to, well, you wanna now you're starting leave. to make me uncomfortable. You know, if we asked you for a, a DNA swab, would you be willing to give us one? Maybe. No. Now I'm thinking I probably need to talk to a lawyer. I, because I know how this stuff works. Okay, don't get me wrong. You're right. I have been doing this a long time. Give us a DNA sample, a buccal swab, so we can identify or eliminate you. Would you be willing to do that? Maybe. Well, That's. I, I mean, we we understand that. I mean, if we were in your position, I mean, we would feel the same way. I I just can't even believe it. I mean, it's just. I, I mean, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. That somebody would be blamed, saying that I did this. I mean, we had a fight, and so I went and killed her. I mean, come on. Well, that's okay. All right. Well, thanks for giving me the courtesy. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right, Stephanie, take care. All right.